When Free Willy, the story about a captive orca and his journey to freedom, came out in 1993, it was the first time a worldwide audience at once fell in love with this amazing creature of the ocean. However, the crucial norm that concerns the life of orcas held captive in marine parks around the world is still today an issue which holds a dark cloud of neglect and immorality over their freedom. So what is it about this animal that moves us so much? Orcas are amazingly friendly and understanding. They live in big families with lifespans similar to humans, and the adult offspring never leave their mother's side. Each family has a complete different set of behaviors with a range of vocalization in the same way as we as humans use languages. You see, orcas are not just passive oceanic pandas. They are immensely complex and everything about them screams out intelligence. They even have a part of the brain that humans don't have, which brings their sense of self and social bonding to a whole other level. And most of all, whales can even excel rainbows and it's incredibly awesome. However, the sad fact is that humans are not as emotional and understanding as orcas. Since 1961, we have kidnapped orcas from the wild and brought them into amusement parks to perform for our pleasure. This is not only a devastating outcome of humanity's greed, deaths, conspiracy, psychosis, obsessive compulsive behavior, compromised health, boredom, inbreeding, and the use of psychoactive drugs or other realities that simply proves that you should never capture what you can't control. Orcas are too large, too intelligent, and too behaviorally and socially complex to adjust to even the largest captive enclosure. SeaWorld's captive breeding program should end as it serves no conservation purpose at all. There is no justification for the continued captive display of orcas for entertainment. Actions taken such as the Orca Welfare Safety Act, which if passed will prohibit the display of whales and retire them to a less stressful environment, and STA's ban on selling trips to marine parks are just the first few steps towards ending the global exploitation of a species that was never suited to live in our world. But it's still not enough. Unfortunately, orcas continued to be captured from the wild in the Russian Far East, and the market demand from countries like Russia and China that supports these captures is instigated and encouraged by the existence of SeaWorld. This is a multi-billion dollar corporation that makes its money through the exploitation of orcas. But you can make a difference. You can make a difference for these majestic beautiful creatures by simply not going to SeaWorld. And maybe in 50 years or so, we can look back and think, what a barbaric time. Make this the last generation of orcas in captivity.